we can solve this problem using naman yung tinatawag nating Morse circle. So, kapag ginamit natin yung Morse circle, meron lang tayong mga rules na kailangan nating tandaan. So, solve natin to by using Morse circle. So, yung Morse circle natin, it is using coordinates or we are plotting dun sa partition plane natin to solve for the value of our stresses. Provided that compression is positive, the rotation of our shear stress, if it is clockwise, that is negative. If it is counterclockwise, that is positive. And of course, no, yung mga angles natin on the Morse circle, kung ilalagay natin yung angle natin from the sole element to the Morse circle, dumodoble yung value niya. So, meaning to say, kung ipaplot natin yung 20 degrees on the Morse circle, magiging double siya. So, the value of our theta, magiging 2 theta sa Morse circle. So, we can calculate yung mga principal stresses natin din using the Morse circle. So, for that, let's say, we have, so this is, sabihin natin, we have plane, bigyan natin ng pangalan, etong soil element natin. Sabihin natin, this is C, D, E, and F. So we have a degree here which is equal to 120 which is equal to 90 degrees right angle. May right angle tayo dito right angle and a right angle. So kung gagawa tayo ng coordinates dito. So nga hanapin natin yung coordinates of this side. So titingnan natin since compression naman yung sigma x natin so that will be positive. So that is positive 120. Tapos yung x naman natin or the shear stress since its rotation is clockwise. So that will become negative 14. Next, how about the coordinates of this side? Since compression naman yung sigma y natin. So that will become positive 300. And the rotation naman ng shear stress natin that is counterclockwise, so that will become positive 40. So, let us plot this coordinates the sa Cartesian plane natin for us to have the Morse circle. So, from the word itself, Morse circle, so yung graph natin na uh, mafoform natin sa Cartesian plane is definitely a circle. So, kung meron tayong circle na graph, yung mga properties sa circle natin is applicable dito. So, i-plot natin. So, let's say this is our Cartesian plane. So, yung Cartesian plane natin, sabihin natin. This is our Cartesian plane. Ayan. So, plot muna natin yung eto muna ng side na to. Yung side GE natin, let us plot. So, meron tayong positive 120. So, let's say, yung positive 120 natin somewhere here. And you have negative 40. So, binatin natin, nandito sila, no? This is positive 120. And this is negative. So, ito yung coordinates natin. So, this is positive 120. At saka yung negative 14. So, this is positive 120, negative 14. So, next naman. Let us plot naman. So, this is our side DE. Let us plot naman yung side FE natin. Having a coordinate of positive 300. So, somewhere here. And a positive 40. So, dito yan. So, somewhere here, ayan, ito yan. So, that is your coordinates natin. We have a positive 300 and a positive 14. So, meaning to say, 
So, kung ipa-plot natin yan, so, if we will, we will connect these two coordinates, so, connect natin yung dalawa. Ayan. And then, we will going to form, we will going to form a circle here. So, magdadraw tayo ng circle, kasi nga, more circle. Yes. This is our more circle. So, siyempre, yung nasa gitna natin, uh, yung pinaka-gitna ng dalawa, yung midpoint niya, that is yung E natin. This is our point E. And of course, yung nasa dulo natin, that is our point D. And lastly, yung pinaka-dulo natin doon, that is our F. So, this one is our side DE and This one is our side EF. So, ang titignan natin between these sides, yung kanyang angle between each other is 90 degrees. So, from the solid element going to the more circle, biglang naging 180 degrees yung angle intercepted dun sa mga sides natin. So, this is our more circle. So, kung hahanapin natin yung coordinate nung nasa gitna natin. So, meron tayong dito 120. So, dito naman is 300. So, tingnan natin, you have 300 minus 120, that is 180. Diba? This is 180. So, since this is in midpoint, 180 naman yan. So, mangyayari kung kutitignan natin yung midpoint na ito, yung center, So, hanapin natin. So, yung x natin by analytic geometry. So, you have 300 plus 120 over 2. So, you will have 300 plus 120, you have 420. Divided by, by 2, you have 210. And next naman is yung y naman natin. So, you have positive 40 minus 40 all over 2. So, you have 0. So, yung coordinates ng center natin sa so more circle natin, that is definitely positive 210 and 0. So, kung titignan natin, this is 210. So, kung hahanapin natin yung radius ng more circle natin, eto lang naman yan. So, yung coordinates natin dito, that is 120. 120, 210, yung coordinates natin sa E, 210. Minus 120, so yung length ng side na to, or yung radius natin, that is, so sorry pala, so, eto yung hinahanap natin, so eto pala yung hinahanap natin na radius, so this is 120, so hindi natin pwede pala, hindi pala yun yung ano natin, kasi kung titignan natin sa, mablot natin yan sa more circle natin, eto lang yung 120. So, I stand corrected, no? So, hanapin ngayon natin yung radius, no? More circle natin. Hanapin natin yung radius niyan. So, sir, paano po natin hahanapin yung radius niyan? Okay? So, apply lang natin yan. So, yung difference nito So, you will form a right angle here. So, this is, ito yung coordinates niya is 120. Tapos, ito 210. 210 minus 120 that is 90. Tapos, yung height na ito, from this point, going to the x-axis, so that is 14. So, kung gusto mo naman mag-reference dito sa side na ito, so yung difference na ito, on the x-axis, meron tayong right angle. So, yung difference ng D, at saka E natin, you have 300 dito, minus 210, so you have 90 here. And sing, yung height ng right triangle na mag-form natin is 14. So, referring to these two, kahit na saan, parehas lang naman yung makukuha natin na value. So, siguro, consider na lang natin etong part na to. Eto. Eto na lang. So, let us consider triangle. So, let's say we have a triangle DGE. So, Consider triangle DGE. So, you have triangle DGE. 
So, meron tayo dito. So, this is our triangle. Meron tayong 40 dito. Meron tayong 90 dito. Definitely, ito yung radius natin. By, by what? By using Pythagorean theorem, we can calculate for the value of your r. r is equal to square root of. So, we have 90 squared plus 40 squared. So, our radius is equal to 98.48. 9. So, that is the value of our radius. And, siyempre, kung kukunin naman natin yung theta natin dito, sabihin natin yung angle natin dito, that is alpha. So, nga hanapin natin si alpha, that is opposite over over opposite over adjacent. So, ito tayo dito, toa. So, that is that tangent, so that's arctan of opposite, which is 14 over 90. So, you will have a value of 23.962 degrees. So, yun yung angle natin from this. So, this is yung 10 alpha natin. So, next naman, Paano naman natin ipa-plot yung AB dito sa more circle natin? So, kung mapapansin natin, yung reference ng theta natin here is the side EF. So, so, mapapansin natin that is our side EF and yung reference niya is horizontal. So, if we have a theta of 20 degrees, 20 degrees dito sa EF natin, dito sa soil element natin, kung itatransfer natin siya sa more circle natin, ito twice lang natin yung value niya. So, that will become 40 degrees dito sa more circle natin. So, pwedeng dito tayo mag-reference. So, let's refer. So, meron tayo dito. So, yung rotation niya is counterclockwise. Tapos, FE, yung reference niya. So, dito sa FE, dito tayo mag-reference. So, you have 40 degrees here. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng 40 degrees. So, since FE yung reference natin, tapos, counterclockwise pa. So, this is our FE. Pagkakaroon natin, this is our 40 degrees which is yung 2 theta natin. And then, ipa-flat natin yan. Let us flat that. So, flat natin yan. So, this will now become yung hinahanap natin value. So, this will become yung ordinates natin. Ito yung hahanapin natin mga value. So, hahanapin natin yung tau n <coughs> yung coordinates ng mga normal and shear stresses natin. Okay. So, para di na lang tayo malito, reflect na lang natin etong line natin sa taas. So, let's, kung i-reflect natin yan sa taas. So, pwede naman natin yung i-reflect or o kaya sing na lang natin para ano, mas simple na lang yung solution natin. So, kailangan, hanapin natin, hahanapin na ngayon natin yung value ng principal stresses, normal stresses, at saka yung shear stresses. So, dealing with the more circle, kapag sinabi natin yung sigma 3, that is our minor principal stress. So, yung sigma 3 natin, eto yan. So, from this phase, eto, from the out, from the circle hanggang dun sa origin natin, eto yan, yung minor or yung pinakamaliit na value minor or yung pinakamaliit na value natin sa principal stresses. And lastly, yung major principal stress natin, that is denoted naman by sigma 1. So, from this, eto, pinakadulo ng circle natin to the x-axis with reference, that is yung kinoconsider natin 
sigma 1. So, paano natin i-co-compute yung mga yan? So, you have a sigma 1. So, hanapin natin yung mga coordinates natin dyan. So, dun muna tayo sa sigma 3 muna. So, meron tayong sigma 3 here. So, sigma 3 is equal to So, yung So, yung known coordinates natin, yung shortcut lang dyan, hanapin mo yung coordinate natin dito sa pinakadulo, this is 210. So, kung 210 to, para mapunta ka dito sa outermost part ng circle natin o yung whole circle natin, kung saan located yung sigma 3 natin, so, imaminus mo lang yung, yung coordinates ng center natin along x dun sa na-compute natin na radius. So, kung this is 210, i-minus mo lang yung radius natin, mapupunta ka na dito sa point na to. So, 210 minus 98.489 degrees. I solid that. That's that degrees. So, you will have 3, you will have 200 So, ulit. So, you will have 111.511 kPa. So, yung mga coordinates natin sa more circle natin, ha, yung unit nila is in kilopascal. Lastly, balik to naman yung gagawin natin dito. Kung yung coordinates natin along x dito sa center natin, i-add natin yung radius para makuha natin yung sigma 1. So, hanggang dito, yung value niya is 210. Plus mo yung radius para mapunta ka dun sa outermost part ng circle natin. So, you will have a value which is equal to 308.489 kPa. So, next naman, hanapin 